<laughs> we're moving from nuggets to nachos two of my favorites and uh, this dish nachos is it, become a classic on the show we've done it a couple times uh, the one that comes to mind now is when Rudy that's right Rudy Kamabach uh, was on the show I think that was when we did after dark was it yeah we did the after dark series on Cup of Joe and we did a, a, a cheesy nacho I can't remember if we did a vegetable version or meaty version but I'm doing the meaty version today you can't do it veggie or you can do some lovely minced meat that I have here. One of the good things about this dish that I'm going to quickly pull together and see how easy it is. This is a kind of quick leftovers, what you have and throw in the nachos. Um, nachos could be such a simple dish but you could elevate it so easily. So favorite pack of nachos, whatever type of nachos or chips you like. Um, and I, I, I just have some here that I want to layer. Very important guys, grease your dish. So this is already greased and, and oil up for me. So I have like one layer of nachos. Um, and then you literally start building almost like a lasagna. Really, really simple. Some onions. So I have onions that I'm going to just sprinkle, leave back a little there. This is jalapenos. So to be truthful, I don't love jalapenos. But it does add a mm of a nice little, yeah, Mexican. Nachos is a kind of Mexican dish. It's, 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 it's Mexican in, 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 its, it's, in its nature. I don't love jalapenos, but it really does add something to nachos when everything, all the ingredients comes together. Tomatoes. I'm going to add just about a half sprinkle, some tomatoes there, bam, bam. Now, you, don't, you want to be careful with the ingredients um, because you don't want the nachos to get too soggy or too wet. So sometimes my eyes are big when it comes to meat. So Merla usually does this part for me, <laughs> but I'm going to try it because you don't want to overdo the minced meat. When you have leftovers from a lasagna or from a meat sauce that you'd have done, hey, you can throw it in your nachos. Just dot it nicely, dot, 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 and then sprinkle some cheese. This cheese, guys, <laughs> I remember Rudy. Um, so, so the important thing with the cheese here is a nice mix of cheddar and mozzarella cheese so the cheddar gives it that nice sharp bite but the mozzarella cheese guys kind of brings it together all nice and gooey um i, I remember the bite uh, yeah, I, i'm hoping that we have it just to show you that lovely bite road you took um yeah and you layer so another layer this is a dish that we do at home anytime around midnight <laughs> you know you feel sometimes you, you would have had dinner at six and you're just feeling for something else before you go to bed, you're watching a movie. The prep time is, 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 is the biggest amount of time and it's really just cutting up some onions, some tomatoes, some peppers. If you don't have jalapenos, guys, you can't actually use sweet peppers. Yeah, you can't use sweet peppers. To be honest, as I said, the jalapenos really does give it, I don't know, that little extra bite of flavor and a little nice peppery kick as well. So all I'm doing is really just repeating everything I just did repeat these steps it's, it's really that simple there's no maths to this whatsoever you know i love these type of recipes easy to do and you can pull together a snack in no time whatsoever this is great to do with the kids as well because you lay out your yeah your your, your, your workstation so to speak and you just have them work, work it you don't even have to do much of the work final layer of cheese so there's nothing wrong with snacks in a pack but when you can pull together this kind of snack come on you bake this in the oven 10 15 minutes just till the cheese melts and everything kind of comes together and you have a delicious dish a delicious snack that i am telling you you can't go wrong This is my beefy, cheesy nachos. Check out our YouTube channel, Cup of Joe Caribbean, and try this recipe. It's too simple not to try, guys.